He is a humble man with a humble dream. We want to end the shame and disgrace of poverty housing in the whole world. That's our goal. Millard Fuller and his wife Linda founded Habitat for Humanity in 1976 and most recently in 2005 started a new organization called the Fuller Center for Housing. Both organizations work with homeowners to build simple, decent, affordable houses. So far, Fuller's dream has helped more than a million people move into more than 200,000 homes built by volunteers and homeowners in 100 countries. We're getting ready to get these walls up. I want to ask them. If ending poverty housing worldwide is the vision, Millard Fuller is the visionary who is making it happen. He tirelessly travels the globe, raising awareness and inspiring communities to help the poor. You take away profit, you take away interest, and the house becomes affordable, even for a person of very limited income. A native of Alabama, Millard Fuller graduated from Auburn University and the University of Alabama Law School. A marketing firm he created while still in school made him a millionaire by the time he was 29 years old. But when his ambition threatened to end his marriage in the late 1960s, he and Linda prayed for an answer. And I turned to Linda and I said, I think we should give everything we got away and make ourselves poor again and just throw ourselves on God's mercy and ask Him to guide us. She didn't hesitate a minute. I knew that when I married Millard, he had the Midas touch. He had the skills and the talents to make things work. Homeowners, along with those who knew him as a missionary in Zaire and during Habitat's earliest days, say this father of four goes out of his way, sometimes to Linda's amazement, to make people feel special. Here in Africa, nobody can assist his friend. We are just friends in the mouth. Eh? But this one is friend in action. Millard always has to have a goal, a dream out in front of him that keeps driving him. I mean, I, I am amazed how he's been able to sustain the kind of energy that he has. All right, let's go to work. Habitat's most notable volunteer, former President Jimmy Carter, says the thought of any family living in substandard condition is what continues to push Millard Fuller. What all of us remember who know him well is that he works harder than any of us. He's always moving forward in realization of some hope for a poverty-stricken family who doesn't have a decent house. I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that Millard Fuller has literally revolutionized the concept of philanthropy. The recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Clinton and numerous other accolades, including the Martin Luther King Jr. Humanitarian Award, the World Methodist Peace Award, and 52 honorary doctorate degrees, Fuller remains grounded in what he calls his life mission. After 46 years of marriage, Linda Fuller says she is so proud of all that Millard has accomplished. We have such a deep love for each other. Um, Millard adores me and, and I love him so much and that's one of the best things that life could have given me, I think. <laughs>